Hi guys, welcome to my latest unboxing video um, from Gallon Leathers. Actually, I purchased this through Goulet.com. Um, they are a company that sells um, various pins. Um, let's see, here it is. Oh, here. They sent me a little sticker. Um, so, Goulet pins. They sell various stationary items, pins, notebooks. They sell um, Gallon Leather um, items also. Um, I got this pin from them too. I wanted to say this was like 10 bucks. Um, the reason why I got such a, a basic cheap pin is because I'm still in the learning process of how knowing how to use uh, fountain pens and everything. So I thought I would try just a little cheapy before I invest any money into it. So um, I purchased the order. I made the order on Friday and I received it today, which is Friday. So it took a week to get here, which I'm really glad because I was nervous. I wanted to take this with me. I'm going on a trip tomorrow, so I wanted to take this with me um, on my trip. So I'm excited. So um, got my order today. The shipping was free, um, and then they I had a 10% off coupon, so I got 10% off. I think this is $2.19 for this, and then the pen was $10. So um, I think it came out to like $2.33, whatnot. Um, so yeah, so let's get into this. I'm super stoked. I got the forest, I think it was the forest green. Uh, yes, crazy horse forest green. And the reason I got that one is because they've been sold out of the other one, the other color, like the brown color that I wanted and I was sad and I wanted this. So, but it's okay because I got other stuff to match it. I got, um, hold on, let me get it. Let me show you the other thing that I got, which the video will probably be out um, on that. Okay, so I got the folio case also. So, and then on the video that's going before this is the review on this. And I guess apparently it's supposed to be scratched because on the video I was a little worried. And I'm like, wow, this is really scratched up. What happened? Um, and come to find out, I looked at other people's cases and everyone else had theirs all scuffed up. So I'm assuming that's the way it's supposed to be. Um, so I feel a little better about it. At first I thought mine just came this way and I was just amazed. I'm like, wow, what the heck happened? But apparently that's the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be look worn and used. So, um, this is the color that I got my medic bag in. So, um... These boxes, again, I can never say enough about these boxes. It's so funny because I seen this and I actually have this bottle and it's black too, but it's empty, but I have the actual bottle. So I thought that was really cute. I found it like at an antique store. Um, so I'm looking for a place to have these boxes somehow displayed somewhere. I don't know. Oh, yes. Oh. Okay, so excited. I'm gonna use these boxes for storage boxes, so I'm excited about that. I got this beautiful, they, their bags are always so nice. Um, so I got this cover, it comes with a cover, dust cover. My other, the um, folio, zipper folio didn't come with the cover. Okay, so this is a little scuffed up too. And again, I'm wondering if that's the way it's supposed to be. Thinking that's the way it's supposed to be. You guys, I cannot explain this leather. It's just so buttery soft. And I'm so excited. Has some gold, I guess, rivets, I guess is what they're called. Um, and I love the fact, and I never noticed it before, but you can use this as a, make, put it like a backpack. So I'm really stoked about that. So because I can have, I have a crossbody purse. Oh, let me show you that also. Hold on. So I picked this up at Target. Um, this bag. It's a crossbody bag. It is from Joanne um, Heart and Hand with uh, Mongolia. It's the Joanne, what's her name? 
from the flip it flip show joanne Gaines. there we go um 34.99 i got this at target and it's felt and this is leather so the straps are leather and the bag is felt and i'm in love with this so i'm gonna take this with me and i'm going to keep my folio in here because it fits perfectly um, and then i'm gonna have this as a backpack oops dropped it <laughs> um so then i'm gonna have this as a backpack so i'm really excited about that so let's see oh my gosh you guys um i think the strap is in here too i hope so this is the little story about the medic bag oh that's beautiful her his wife passed last year um yeah i i feel really bad about that um, so this was made on December 20th, and this is the person that it was made by. And then again, I got another one of the um, evil eye charms. And then that just tells the little story about the evil eye. Mm. Oh, yay! So I got another one. This is, they give you one with every order. I wasn't too sure if I was going to get one of these because I didn't order it from Gallon Leather. Um, I ordered it from Golay Pens, so I wasn't too sure if I was going to get one. And then again, it comes with the little, um, tea and coffee. And I'm put using this, I'm taking one of these with me to store my washi tape in. Oh, that scared me. I'm like, oh no, it didn't come with the strap. Okay. So this is the strap. Um, and I'm going to figure out how to do it. I know that I saw it online, how it goes to turn it into a backpack. So let's see. Oh, so it's magnetic. <gasps> it's completely gorgeous. Oh, look at this. this is a different type of like a green color. And I like how it's kind of bowed because then you can fit so much in there. <gasps> you guys, this is amazing. Oh, I can hardly wait to use it. I'm going to take it with me and work on some of my journaling in the hotel. Oh, and then I got this pin to match all of the green that I've been getting lately. Um, So I'm really excited about that. And then it has these really sturdy elastic. And that's what it looks like inside. Oh, does this? Oh, no, I thought it popped out. And then, oh, this is neat. It has a little keychain. Oh, and it has the little um, a keychain here, which you can probably hook it on the outside somewhere. Love this. I think I'm going to hook this somewhere on the outside. Maybe I can just have it like that, huh? I don't know. I'll figure it out. Oh, my God, you guys. So I need to sit down for this because <laughs> I'm so stoked about this. Oh, like there is no words for this. So there's a zipper, and this is leather too. I think this is leather also. Has a pocket, and then it has a pocket here. And then more pockets here. And then you can put pins and other little accessories. Um, my husband kind of just threw it on me about going on this trip tomorrow. Oh, look, you can just unscrew these, that's neat. Um, about going on this trip tomorrow, and I'm not even prepared. Like, I'm rushing, packing everything, and doing a load of laundry, and I'm thinking in my head, it's just an overnight trip, but, you know, I'm going to overthink everything and want to take everything with me, like, when it comes to my planner stuff. Um, so, hold on one sec. So, but yeah, so I'm totally in love with it. Um, so I got this pin to match it. Hold on, my husband just walked in. Go. That's awful timing. <laughs> so let's open this so we can see. Um, let me move this out of the way. Let's see how easy this is. Oh, it just like snaps together perfectly. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And then it just snaps like that and you're ready to go. It's not that heavy, um, very sturdy, but not that heavy at all. And I'm actually, I was kind of a little sad because I wanted the other color, um, but I'm actually really liking this green color. Um, it's like an olive green almost. 
so I'm really, it's growing on me. Um, the more I'm seeing it, the more I'm liking it. Uh, let's compare it to... Oh, it's a little different. Ooh, I thought it was going to be the same, but it's a little different. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I thought it was going to be the same color because they're both the same. But but they did mention that, you know, color stains um, do differ depending. Just it depends, I guess. But it's close enough. Look at all this beautiful green. <laughs> so, okay, well, let's get into the pen. And let's see how the pen works. Let's get some trusty scissors. And I think I'm going to move you guys down a little since I don't need that much room now. And then we can try it on some Tummy River paper. Um, oh, cool. Okay. I've always been afraid, so this I just have to buy the ink cartridges for to refill it. Um, I've always been afraid on refilling fountain pens because I've never done it before. Um... So I'm glad that I don't need to refill it. I can just buy the cartridges. Eventually, I do want to get one that you can refill. So it has like this little bead inside. I guess we just pop it. Okay. Looks like blue ink. I thought it was going to be black. Oh, is it supposed to do that? Uh-oh, did I do it wrong? Is there supposed to be ink in that barrel? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I better put it on here because in here because I don't know. I don't want to get ink all over my desk. Um. Uh, I hope I didn't screw it up. <sighs> crap! 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 We shall find out. I'm actually going to just tear a page out of my Hobonichi um, because I don't want it, if it does get all over the place, I don't want it getting on my pages. So let's try to look for the last page because I don't want it getting everywhere. Okay. Okay, so let's see. I've never, I've, I hope I did it right. Let's see. Guess we gotta wait for the ink to flow, right? Is that how it works? I hope I just didn't screw, oh, there we go. Screw this up. Hmm. Writes really well on the Tummy River paper. Um, the only thing that concerns me is that ink. I don't know if that's normal for it to bleed through like that. Uh, I hope I didn't screw it up. Yeah, I'm afraid to put it with my other pins. Because if this is going to seep through, it might not. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, so it is blue ink. It dries fairly quickly, um, at least on Tummy River paper, which I like. Hold on, I think I gotta sneeze. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Um, ooh, just do that. <laughs> um, I was hoping that it would have been like a flexible nib, but it doesn't seem like it. I'm pressing down and it's not very flexible. The only thing it's doing is just more ink is coming out. Um, because I, I do want to try like a flexible ink. Not too bad. I actually really like it. Um, I think I will use it for um, my journaling. Okay, so if you do it on the flip side, because I've seen someone do that, like on the flip. Oh, the little ball, I could hear it in there. Um, it does write thinner. That's neat. I like that. Okay, well this pen isn't too bad. I actually like the way it writes here. Um, but yeah, I mean, for someone who isn't very familiar with fountain pens, this actually isn't really bad. So um, so yeah, not too bad. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to keep it unless I do put it in the pen, like in the case upwards like that, and keep it that way. Um, I think it should be fine. It just... I had never seen a pen do that before. But then again, I've never used a fountain pen really. So, um, but again, I do love the color. It's really cute. So, alrighty. Well, I will talk to you guys later. And this video should go up within the next few weeks. So, alrighty. I will talk to you guys later. And have a good weekend. Bye.